days after Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings called last weekend a bad weekend for bars, county leaders now say they are sending strike teams back out ahead of the Super Bowl to make sure COVID-19 rules are being followed. News 6's Nadine Giannis is live in Orlando. Nadine, Orlando's downtown district is now trying to make sure all businesses comply and stay on that good list. Matt, we actually spent the afternoon with Rosangela Parker. She's with downtown Orlando's district calling up businesses saying, do you need masks? Do you need sanitizer? Many of them saying yes, expecting larger crowds this weekend. She says she does not want to see any downtown Orlando business on that bad list of businesses not complying when the strike, for strike teams come out. With her wagon in tow, downtown Orlando District Director Rosangela Parker is preparing businesses ahead of a big Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, so there are a few that have mentioned, hey, look, we are expecting larger crowds than usual, and we know as a Super Bowl weekend. Handing out PPE. Here's my additional mask. Thank you. All right. Like masks and sanitizer. Um, the last thing we want is, you know, to get some negative press um, for our, our, our different merchants here who've been struggling just to keep their doors open. Because Orange County says their five strike teams will be coming to businesses unannounced this weekend. Uh, the state team and the Super Bowl in the hometown uh, of, of the uh, of the Super Bowl. So um, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of excited people out there especially for those repeat offenders. Four bars getting cited just this last weekend, including Knight's Library, Knight's Pub, Infinity Nightclub, and Tin Roof. Of the four establishments uh, the teams visited, none, none were in compliance. Patrons were not wearing masks and there was no social distancing. Uh, we've seen places where uh, they see our strike teams coming and, and everybody starts uh, uh, masking up and uh, in compliance and so forth. Uh, so we prefer to be uh, to, to continue our, our unannounced uh, visits out there. So far, the strike teams have issued 106 warnings and 22 citations that come with a $300 fine each. And we follow back up and you're still not uh, following the mandate. Um, there's a good possibility uh, that you would get a, a second citation, third, however many times it takes to uh, uh, to get compliance. Now, it's important to know Orange County says 99% of the businesses that they visit are in compliance. And if not, they fix it before the strike teams come back out. But they will be back out coming and visiting businesses unannounced at any point this weekend. Live in Orlando tonight, I'm Nadine Giannis getting results news six.